so I am getting ready to get a chemical peel done to my face this is going to be my second one so I'm hoping this one actually gives me the results that I actually want as you guys can see I have a lot of hyperpigmentation it's because I have hormonal acne and I I used to pick with my skin really bad but now I'm getting a little better at it because I really don't like the dark spots so hopefully this chemical peel just really wipes away my dark spots because I'm sick of it I'm so sick of it face is calm she's saying that I will probably start peeling later tonight because this is a very intense peel but I plan to keep you guys updated I'm gonna take pictures I'm gonna be recording throughout this whole process so you guys will see everything I promise The first day after I got the chemical peel and as you can see I've already started peeling which sucks because I I work today and well it doesn't really suck because I wear a mask but mm. so day one of the official peel I'll be back tomorrow so you guys this is still day one of my peel and it went from zero to 100 really, really quick. Like, so this, this is day two. And as you guys can see, this peel started happening very, very quick. Like, Pretty much at this point, I look burnt, but washing my face took away some of the peeled skin. So as you can see, we still have a ways to go. I do not plan on leaving the house today because at this point, I'm still gonna look foolish behind a mask. So day two.
So I just wanted to come back and show you guys um, my face after I moisturized this morning. This is still day three. So the peel is pretty much going the way it should go. Um, I still have some peeling to do around my mouth and as you see these spots here have to peel and my forehead so let's see how tomorrow go. Most of the peeling is done and although I still have my dark spots they are much lighter and my skin is much more smoother smoother <laughs> But um, yeah, the peel is done. Um, I see results, but I just really want this dark spot gone. And it's just so stubborn, but I'm gonna keep working at it. I see a dermatologist as well, and they give me ointments and creams to use. Um, I want you guys to think I'm naked here. <laughs> but um, they give me all those good things to you. So this is just a journey for me. Like me having this hormonal acne, getting that under control and now like healing my skin from its dark spot spots. It's just a journey y'all. I've definitely come a long way as far as my face. And as you can see, I still have a ways to go, but the peel is a start. It's a start, so yeah. And I'ma start back using like my soap and cleansers instead of the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Cleanse. I'ma start using the things that I normally use being that the peel is pretty much done. So I'll come back tomorrow like during the whole process and show you guys the final product of my skin now that the peel is completely done. All right, bye. <laughs> Still have like a few dry areas, but I'm putting like a lot of moisturizer. So it's definitely an improvement, I must say. I just need a bath on. <laughs> I'm, I'm well on my way. I'm, I'm not upset with these results. of my toner.
you guys can see, I am completely done with the peel. There is no more skin left to peel and my skin is back to normal as far as not being super dry and cracked and just feeling weird. So I'm back to normal. Um, as you guys just saw, I did my nightly routine, which is very lengthy, but it works for me. Like I finally have a regimen that works for me. So I'm going to keep at it and we're going to get these dark spots completely removed. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. All right, bye y'all.